Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the DW Agent uh, remote control software that you could use to control other computers over the internet. So this tool is free to use. They do have some other subscription type plans uh, that'll cost you money if you want some extra features. Uh, but for the most part you could just use the free version and be just fine. So like I said it is done over the internet via a web browser so you don't need to install anything except for on the computer that you want to connect to. You'll need to have the agent running. All right, so you have an agent and a client. So the agent is software, the client is just done through the web browser. So any computer you want to control remotely will need to have the agent installed on it, and then you could assign you know, users and permissions and that type of thing. And you could even share um, this connection to this computer with other people, and then this way they could just go to the website and connect to your computer, and then you could also control what kind of access they get. Okay, so we have this Windows 11 Pro computer using dark mode. So this is the one we're going to connect into, and this one has the agent installed, which I'll show you in a minute. So now let's go over to the Win11 home computer that we're going to use to connect into the Win11 Pro computer. All right, so this is the Win11 home computer, so nothing installed here, but we are logged in with the same account on this computer. So what you should do first is go to the website and create a free account, and then download the agent and then install it. All right, so let's go back over to the agent computer and show you how that's done. All right, so once you log in, you'll have your dashboard here, and you have your agent section here. So if you click on that, you could click on plus here. You'll need to create a group first, because if you just type something in here, you can see it gives you an error saying you can't just make up a name. So you'd have to come here, go to your groups, Create your group first. So I just called mine my network. You can call it whatever you like. And then when you come back here, you could create a new network, give it a group name, give it a name name. This could be whatever you like, description, which is optional. And then you'll have it here, and it will have a code down here. It won't be available, but it'll give you a code. And then what you need to do is install the agent or run the agent. So you just download the agent and run it, but I already have it installed. So I have it down here. And so this will be what it looks like when you install it. So then you could click on Configure Agent. And then instead of Change Installation Code, you would enter the installation code, which is what you will see here under your agents for your computer that you configured that you're going to connect into. And then you just kind of go through the wizard there and finish it up. And then you'll come back and it'll be available here. And then you can come here, edit it, disable it, delete it, make a new share. If you click on shares, so you can configure a share by clicking on plus here. So I already have a share here for guest access. If I edit it, I'm sharing the agent here. You could share a whole group too. Here's the agent name, description. Then here's where you can decide what you want to share. Full access, just files, logs, resources, just the screen, shell, or just the text editor. And then you could enable contacts. You could set up contacts. There's another section for contacts. So that way you can give permission to a contact or give them a login or have a link. So I have a link shared for this. Or you could just share it with yourself. And then the validity, you could have it always or whatever you need to do there. And so here's the link that you could use to send to somebody else to allow them access into the computer. So, of course, that's optional. You don't have to share it, of course. All right, so I have my agent set up here. If you go to the three dots, you'll get back to the agents menu, your shares, your contacts. Here's where you make your group. Then you can analyze the event or just go to your account in general. All right, so we have the agent running on this computer here. You can see here. Disable it if you want. Configure it if you want. I also have it sitting here in the taskbar. Disable, configure, uninstall. Configure unattended access if you want. All right, so now let's go back over to the Windows 11 home computer that's going to connect into this computer and then make a connection. All right, so we're logged into our account here on their website. Now if I go to Agents, 
I have the same agent that I configured on the Windows 11 Pro computer. It's even called Windows 11 Pro. That's what I called it. And if I click on here, I have the same options here. If I need to make any changes, since it's the same account. And if I want to connect, I could just click on it like so. So now if I want to see files and folders, the text editor, log watch, resources, screen or shell, let's start with the screen. So it's making a connection to Win 11 Pro, the remote computer. So now you can see we're connected here. And then you could use the computer just like you were sitting in front of it. Then you have some quality options here. You want maximum quality. So if you have a fast connection, you could put it on that. How well it'll work, you'll have to see. So I'm recording at a low resolution right now, so things are a little fuzzy. Uh, display options here. If you have more than one display, disable audio, disable mouse and keyboard, send some keystrokes if you want. Send control alt delete, control escape, paste the remote, copy text by remote, and then full screen mode. And if you come back here, I could do files and folders. So here are the files and folders on the remote computer. So if I go to the C drive, for example, you can see we have everything here. Go to this user account, documents. So we can see all the documents here. You can right click, open with, make a new folder there, delete it, rename it, cut, copy, paste, download it if you want to have a copy on your computer from the remote computer. Or if you want to upload a file to the remote computer, you could do that as well. You can see we have the path up here if we need to go back and forth. We also have some download and upload buttons here. You know, cut, copy, paste, delete, make a new folder, refresh, go up a level, and so on. All right, let's go back here again. Text editor. So if you want to make a text file here, you could choose your type, save it, make a new folder, make a new file. A log watch. I guess only if you really need to see the logs, you could come here. Uh, resources, this is kind of interesting. You can check out the resources of the remote computer. See the disk space and everything. Tasks, services. So if you need to stop or start a service, stop a task from running. Then we have the shell. So if you want to do some commands on the remote computer, let's say a host name, for example. Tells me the name of the remote computer. If I want to get its IP address and so on. Then when you're done, just come through and close out the ones you don't need any longer. And then when you want to disconnect, just disconnect. All right, so once again, go to their website, create an account, do that first. Then I would probably come in here to the groups, make your group that you want to use for your computer or computers. You could have multiple computers in the same group. And then you want to come to the agent section on the computer you're going to be controlling. Make a new agent, assign it to your group, give it a name, and then you'll want to run that executable that you saw. So it can be a little confusing because even though I'm on the uh, computer that doesn't have the agent installed, you still see the same options, so you need to make sure you're on the correct computer first uh, before you uh, install the agent. So obviously you're going to be on the destination computer and do all these steps like I just showed you with creating the group, adding the agent, and so on. So let's go back over there real quick. So this is the computer that we're connecting to, so this is where you want to come make your group, make your agent, assign it to the group. And then, like I said, download the agent executable here. And then when you run it, it'll look similar to this, where you configure the agent. And then instead of saying change installation code, it will give you an option to put in the code, which you will see here. I'm going to go plus. I know I'm kind of jumping around, but hopefully this makes sense here. Let's just call this test. So here's the code that you would put in the client when you run the executable. And you can see it's in the to install a section here instead of the available section because once you put in the code, 
it'll move from the to install to the available section. And then, like I said, you could come here and manage it as needed. All right, so hopefully all this makes sense. You know, like I said, I was jumping around a bit, but it, it can be a little confusing when you first try and configure it. But once you kind of get the process down, uh, it's pretty simple. All right, so I will put a link in the description for a DW service, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.